Hi everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. Hope everybody's doing okay. It's a little bit colder this morning. Today's Tuesday, January 10th. Currently it's 31 degrees. High today's 53. No chance of precipitation. Humidity is 83%. There's no wind and air quality is 57. That's moderate. Okay, um, today there will be a second Kroger haul. We went back to get the uh, to get them to straighten out that uh, mess up on the uh, Classico pasta sauce, and they did. They 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 refunded the money uh, on it. So got that straightened out, and then before we went I was looking through the digital coupons and stuff like that and I found some some pretty good deals so we went ahead and got some more things while we were there we didn't realize uh, that was on sale and stuff like that when we went through the day before I didn't have time to really look through everything you really have to do some like investigation to uh, see what the best deals are I can't get the hiccups already but yeah you can, if you check and uh, check the ad, check the digital coupons. We get um, paper coupons from them also in the mail, so I check through those, um, and then uh, check Ibotta to see if there's any, you know, really good things going. The only thing I need to check more is Fetch, because uh, sometimes they have some really good, like they have these bonus deals. Uh, where you get so many points for buying a certain item and uh, if you just turn in a receipt that doesn't have anything that they're promoting or whatever on you'll get a minimum of 25 points but some of these deals like I bought one thing the other day and got 500 um, I bought three of, of another thing I can't remember what it was now and I got a thousand points so you know it works out pretty good sometimes uh, what's for dinner? I made the uh, McAllister Spud Max last night. We went uh, according to the menu what was on a Spud Max, which we've got them before, and they're just really great. I think they're like, oh my gosh, I think they're like 12 bucks or something like that at, uh, at, at McAllister's. I could be wrong, but I think it seems like that's how much they were. Even way back then, they might be more now, who knows. But it's, we had those monster potatoes, and uh, they took almost two hours uh, to, to get done in our little oven. But uh, it had, what did I, I need to find my, I had my piece of paper in the way. I'll tell you what was on it. I kept my little paper because we'll make them again. They, they were fantastic. They have ham, turkey, bacon, cheddar jack, green onions, black olives, and sour cream on them. And I was like, what's a potato without some butter, you know? So I put a little bit of butter on it before I put all the other stuff. So here's what it looked like. And I've got a short that'll be coming out today. Oh my gosh, y'all. It was so good. Uh, I mean, you didn't need anything else with that. That was a whole meal out there. And I could only eat half of it. And I've still got half for lunch today. Uh, Joy and I are going to split the other half for lunch today. This is how big it was. It's, I mean, some of these aren't quite as big as the ones we used. But there was a couple bigger, about this size. The ones we used were about that size. So that was a great meal. Uh, they want to have it again sometime. And we're even thinking about maybe making me making a potato with something like chili and Fritos and, and cheese and stuff like that on it. So we may do different versions of them sometimes. But we really enjoyed that. They loved it. And probably this evening, about 6, somewhere around that uh, Eastern time, I'll be sending out the, uh, the short on that. I still got a little work to do on that. Um, and okay for pizza tonight 
I'm going to fix the, uh, hi kitty, uh, I'm going to use the garlic naan bread that's left and make a homemade pizza and, and Joy's going to make a salad. Here's the, this came from Aldi, you can find these other stores too, not the same brand, but you can find naan bread. There's, there was four in it, which is a great deal because you can make two pizzas out of it. What? What are you doing? Come on up here. Come on. You can come up here if you want to. Come on. Come on. She's just looking at me. Usually she'd jump up when I say something. She'll probably be up here in a minute. I don't, I don't know. She's She shouldn't be hungry. I already gave her a tuna. Okay, so yeah, garlic non bread pizza. There she is. Hi there. How are you doing? How are you doing? She's usually asleep right now. What you gonna find to get into? So that's gonna be good tonight. Say, say, what you doing? You gonna clean a little bit? Huh? Say. You come to say hi? You can't want more tuna, you ate half of it. Let's see now. Okay. Um, they've had some pretty decent uh, tidbits in the past few days. Oh, here. I'm going to show y'all this. Let me get my glasses. This uh, little cartoon thing. And this is so funny because uh, we were talking about this uh, at Kroger the other day. I was having a heck of a time. He's been there as long as I can remember. I think he was trying to open one of those little plastic baggies in produce. <laughs> oh, we had a heck of a time the other day. We could not get it to open up. I think I, I got a tip that you can take them in between your hands and go like this. I'm gonna try that. And uh, if I can think to take my phone with me, I think I might even have Joy uh, film a short or something. <laughs> but yeah, that was so funny. Okay. What you doing? Just gonna hang out behind the phone there? Okay, today's tidbits. Drone captures hundreds of birds chilling on Lake Erie. I like that picture. I'll probably use that for the thumbnail today. A drone which flew over Lake Erie, Ohio, in Jan on January 4 captured a video of hundreds of birds cooling on the water. Russell Jones, who filmed this moment, said that he recorded this breathtaking view from the shores of Euclid. A wide variety of birds can be observed in the video taking advantage of the lake's tranquil waters. What you doing, silly? Hmm? She's right behind the camera looking at me. Do you want some more of your tuna? Or do you want some, huh? She's, she's wanting something, let me see. Okay, there to give her a few little, little treats. So you happy now, huh? <laughs> That's what she was wanting. Okay, the world just saved the ozone layer with its efforts. The UN said the ozone layer is on track to be restored within about four decades. It could recover to 1980 values before the hole appeared by 2066 over the Antarctic, <coughs> by 2045 over the Arctic, and by 2040 for the rest of the world. This was possible due to the global efforts to phase out chlorofluorocarbons found in hairspray cans and refrigerants. Evacuation order orders issued in star-studded Montecito, California. On Monday, an evacuation order was issued in Montecito, Santa Barbara County after the recent rains caused flooding in the area. The region is home to celebrities like Oprah Winfrey, Prince Harry, Meghan Markle, Ellen DeGeneres, Rob Lowe, and George Lucas. Ellen DeGeneres, the former talk show host, shared a clip of a raging creek near her home. And tips to grow lettuce indoors in winter. Yes, you can. Lettuce and other greens like spinach and kale can be grown indoors during, I've never tried kale indoors, I don't believe. 
uh, during the winter as most greens like cooler weather you can easily grow them indoors by providing enough bright light and fertilizer. First soak the seeds in warm water overnight then plant them and the lettuce will be up in a week. That's great. And I showed that already. Mm. Trying to find uh, nice news. Another another uh, shots fired in our town last night. I'm getting this news break thing in the mornings. It says shot fired at Monarch Apartments. Shots fired. Never used to ever hear about anything like that around here. Ever. Very rare. Now it's like every day almost. You still got one more there and you got your crumbs. Eat all your crumbs. Don't leave the crumbs here. Okay, there you go. Uh, scientists discover, this is uh, nice news, why so many ancient Roman buildings still stand today. Rome wasn't built in a day, but it was built to last, as evidenced by the many ancient structures that have survived millennia. A new study has uncovered exactly what ancient Roman engineers did to create architecture with such longevity, and it all comes down to, con to the concrete. Researchers analyzed 2,000-year-old concrete samples, finding that the ancient form of the building material was more durable than what we use today. The Roman concrete contained lime clasts, small white chunks of stone that were previously cast off as evidence of poor mixing or low quality materials. In the recent study though, the scientists found that the lime, when mixed under extreme heat, gave structures a self-healing capability that has allowed marbles like the Colosseum to still stand today for an MIT press release. Wow. 13-year-old is cancer-free after receiving world-first treatment for incurable leukemia. That sounds great that she's okay. After receiving... You done now? She's... Take off now. After receiving a world-first gene editing treatment, a young teenager from Rochester, England, has been in remission for over six months from a form of T-cell leukemia that was once considered to be incurable. According to Great Ormond Street Hospital for Children, where she received the treatment, 13-year-old Alyssa was first diagnosed with T-cell leukemia in May 2021 after, ongoing, after undergoing all current conventional forms of treatment to no avail. Alyssa and her family made the decision for her to participate in a clinical trial administered by GOSH. A year after her leukemia diagnosis in May 2022, she was admitted to the bone marrow transplant unit and became the first reported patient in the world to receive base edited CAR T cells that originally came from a healthy donor. Less than a month after the procedure, Alessa was in remission. Wow! A second bone marrow transplant was then performed to restore her, her immune system, and as of December, she was at home recovering while continuing to be monitored closely. Alyssa said of her decision to undergo the procedure, once I do it, people will know what they need to do one way or another, so doing this will help people. Of course, I'm going to do it. Wow, that's, I'm glad that it's helping her. I hope it can help other uh, patients. Okay, and our quote of the day is from Robin Hobb. Every small unselfish action nudges the world into a better path. An accumulation of small acts can change the world. All right, everybody, I guess that's gonna be it this morning for morning coffee break. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I hope everybody has a great day and definitely check out my Kroger haul today. It's got some great digital deals in it. Everybody have a great day and God bless.